Hello everyone, my name is Brooke Beerhouse, and if you haven't already watched my video, Blockchain for Filmmakers, go ahead and check that out below. There's a link for it, and if you have, let's get straight into it. At the end of that video, I talked about the exciting platforms that are coming out utilizing blockchain and tokenomics in this, well, this month really, and um, later on this year. So there's been some exciting news and a lot of people are getting ready for the launch of this next platform I'm about to talk about, Gaze TV. Now, before we go any further, I do wanna say that last year, my business partner and I were looking into ways to utilize blockchain, cryptography, and tokenomics for a platform for filmmakers. And we came across the white pages for Gaze TV and we got really excited because they essentially hit on all of the, the values and the mission and the problems that I was trying to solve. So we got in contact with Gaze TV and this is not a promotional ad by Gaze TV by any means. This is just a way for me to explain more in depth the conversations that I've been able to have with Gaze TV and that I think are really going to clear up any confusion that some filmmakers might have with using this platform. Now, Gaze TV is essentially an ecosystem just like YouTube, but with a few differences. Essentially, anyone can upload to Gaze TV, just like YouTube. You follow a certain guidelines and community guidelines in terms of what to upload. Basically, be a decent human being and don't upload things that would be flagged and taken down. Now, filmmakers, you get rewarded the minute you start uploading content. It goes for for any creator, but I'm talking specifically to filmmakers. Upload your film and you get rewarded in gaze tokens per second. Creators and viewers are rewarded by the gaze token. When we talk about being an audience member too, you are rewarded for how you engage. You're rewarded for liking and commenting, and you can even support the filmmakers and creators that you love through donations that are through within the Gaze tokens as well. Another exciting feature that I think you might like as filmmakers is that you don't have to just have free content. You can also price your movies. So if people wanna pay $5 to watch and rent your movie, that $5 is um, converted over into gaze tokens at the moment for how much gaze is going for. So the price of it per, for gaze tokens will be different depending on what day you are watching the film, but that $5 USD stable will always stay the same. It's just a currency exchange. So it allows for people to pay for your film. Now, if you already have a film that's out, I would say why not put up behind the scenes on Gaze? You get rewarded immediately once you upload. Maybe you could even have behind the scenes content that is up for a price. People can pay for it. People pay with the Gaze token. That's number one, the most important part of this ecosystem. You get rewarded for uploading, you get rewarded for engagement, but it's all centered around the Gaze token. When we talk about blockchain, when we talk about cryptography, when we talk about tokenomics, all of those are just words floating around in the atmosphere, but they really mean concrete results for us. And as a film filmmaker, I think the most important tool we have is knowing and engaging with our audiences. Another feature that comes with Gaze TV is analytics and being able to know your engagement rate, your demographic, and that is available to us on YouTube, on their studio, it's available to us on Vimeo. But I've talked about before how there are percentage cuts when it comes to monetization of your films. On Vimeo, you pay for the platform fee. You also get, a, a Vimeo takes a percentage every time you make a sale. And with YouTube, the creator studio, I haven't even really been able to utilize that in a way that's substantial for me as a filmmaker and a creative. So because of these things, I was looking for another route. And Gaze TV at the moment feels like a really great one for independent filmmaking. Now, for the next video, I am gonna talk about a platform that is incorporating so many innovations and exciting ideas for filmmakers, primarily big, big budget filmmakers, but it couldn't hurt to already get used to that. And that is called the Theta Network. So next video, we'll be talking about Theta.